for the passage of ballot question number two, Mr. Joe Bresny. Joe is the executive director of the Nevada Cannabis Industry Association. He has spent 22 years managing political operations for state parties, legislative caucuses, and candidates. Mr. Bresney is the former executive director of the Nevada Republican Party and was Mitt Romney's former state director. Thank you, Joe. Mr. Jimmy Stracker. Jimmy was the Nevada State Director for the Republican National Committee from June of 2014 through March of 2015 and was the Director of Engage Nevada in 2013 and 2014. Jimmy was also the State Director for the campaign of Dr. Ben Carson. He is currently the Media Director for the Campaign to Protect Nevada's Children. Welcome, Jimmy. This is an issue where passions run high. To maintain an orderly program and ensure adequate time for the presenters to explain their positions, no direct public participation will be allowed. Questions submitted by the public will be allowed via the written forms. There are clipboards out on the table outside if you want to ask a question. Questions, questions will then be Submit, sorted to eliminate duplicates and to, of course, eliminate any uh, inappropriate questions. Disruptions will not be allowed, and anyone who cannot abide by these guidelines will be asked to leave. This event is being broadcast live by Reliance Connects System and is available to home viewers on Reliance Channel 9. It's also now being streamed live by the uh, TDS system. It will also be recorded and available on letstalknevada.com by tomorrow afternoon. Here's the format for tonight's event. I will provide a short introduction to the provisions of the actual written measure that you will be voting yes or no on so that everyone has the basics. Then I will turn the time over to our two guests. Jimmy will be going first, after uh, we did a coin cost to determine who would be first. So Jimmy will be going first and Joe will be second. Each presenter will have 15 minutes to present their case for the organization that he represents. And then each presenter will have six minutes to answer the points made by the other side. At the end of the presentation and rebuttals, I will ask each of the presenters questions. Each presenter will have two minutes to answer the question, and then his opponent will have 30 seconds to make a quick rebuttal or clarification. While I will be the mouthpiece asking the questions, the questions themselves will have been formulated by our team or written by members of the community and the audience. If you ask, wish to ask a question, you will need to write it down on the forms provided at the entrance and turn it into the folks that will be that will send around at the end of the first 15 minute presentations. Your questions will then be compared to eliminate duplicates and then provided to me to ask the presenters. Please understand that we are under time limits for the use of this facility and all questions submitted may not get asked before we adjourn. With all that behind us, let's get started by reviewing a summary of the actual language in the proposal. In the interest of the public health and public safety, and in order to better focus state and local enforcement resources on crimes involving violence and personal property, the people of the state of Nevada find and declare that the use of marijuana should be legal for persons 21 years of age or older, and its cultivation and sale should be regulated similar to other legal businesses. The people of the state of Nevada declare that the cultivation and sale of marijuana should be taken from the domain of criminals and be regulated under a controlled substance system where businesses will be taxed and the revenue will be dedicated to public education and the enforcement of the regulations in the act. 
the people of the state of Nevada proclaimed that marijuana should be regulated in a manner similar to alcohol <coughs> so that marijuana may only be purchased from a business that is licensed by the state of Nevada. Business owners are subject to review to confirm su suitability to produce and sell marijuana. Cultivating, manufacturing, testing, transporting, and selling marijuana will be strictly controlled through state licensing and regulation. Selling or giving marijuana to persons under 21 years of age shall remain illegal. Individuals will have to be 21 years of age or older to purchase marijuana. Driving under the influence of marijuana will remain illegal, and marijuana sold will be tested and labeled. Those are the basics. Of course, there's 11 pages to this actual act, so I'm not going to read it all tonight. But it is online, and you'll be easily able to find it should you desire to read the whole thing.